Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, I want to talk about my four favorite business movies. So on last week's live stream, we had a conversation about favorite business books and that switched to favorite business films, right? And it was something we talked about some of our, our favorite business movies in the live stream, right? Which was very interesting. I've been thinking about this all week, right? There are four films that I go back to again and again, which are related to business that if I'm down in the dumps, if I need a bit of motivation or inspiration, I'll watch these movies, right? When you think about it, there's lots of movies that can help with the inspiration when things are going bad with business. I mean, things that are not business related, like you know, Rocky movies are, are probably a good one, especially the first one where he, he gets his chance and he works, you know, nobody believes in him and he keeps working at it, working at it until, until he gets it. Not so much the later ones. A lot of mafia movies are this way too. Somebody starts at the bottom and they work their way up. You know, there's, there's some about runaway success stories like The Social Network and, and there's other ones that are more cautionary tales like The Wolf of Wall Street and the corporate ones like Boiler Room and Glenn Glary, Glenn Ross, this kind of stuff. Which Those are good too, but these are the four that I like the best. And please put your favorite business movies down in the comments because this will be really good for other people who are, who are interested in, in watching some of these. The top of my list is probably The Pursuit of Happiness, which is about you know, Will Smith's character. He, he gets a, an internship or a, yeah, an internship or apprenticeship or a, for an unpaid position, an unpaid stockbroker trial. And he works through this and he's got all the problems that, that you can think of. The whole world seems is against him. His wife leaves him, leaves him he loses his house. You know, he's, you know, every, everything goes wrong. He has to be back at a certain time so he can get to the shelter. Right in this movie, and he keeps going, and you keep thinking, you know, how does how does he keep doing it? How does he keep doing it? Like you think your life is tough, and you watch this kind of movie, and I know people have really bad lives, but you know, it the the movie, what, what it does to me, it reminds me that, that there's much more struggle involved when we want to achieve our dreams than sometimes people make it out to believe, so make it out to seem. All right, the second one, this one that my second favorite uh, biggest business movie is The Founder, which is just a couple years ago. Years ago, I read uh, Grinding It Out by Ray Kroc, and I was you know, a big fan. If you read The E-Myth Revisited, he talks a lot about Ray Kroc and the McDonald's. So The Founder is a, a nice short two-hour abbreviation of all that. So to be able to watch Ray Kroc as he finds, finds the McDonald's brothers, and he takes it, and he franchises it, and he scales it up. So this is much more because he wasn't the, he wasn't the one who came up with it. He's the one who, who spread it, and it's, it's a lot more... If you read books like The E-Myth Revisited, it talks about the separation between the technician and the entrepreneur, right? And this is a movie that really signifies that. A lot of times, we're both. We start off as a technician, and we get to the point where we think, how, do we, how are we going to scale this? How are we going to take what we learned, the systems that we had in place, the things that we were doing, and how do we get other people to, to do it? do it for us or be able to spread it and be able to adhere to those standards and that's what I love about the founder and also he's got the same kind of trials and tribulations he's things look on the outside that things are going really well but he's struggling financially you know yeah halfway through the movie you know I thought that was really good my third uh, the third one on my list is Jerry Maguire now Jerry Maguire is kind of like a romance thing you know the whole you complete me you had me at hello I tell you what, I don't need it. I don't need that stuff. But what I love about Jerry Maguire is how the way that it starts. He's he's disillusioned with his life as an agent. He goes off and he he writes this uh, this manifesto, this mission statement, and he sends it off and he tries to change the system from the inside, and it completely implodes on him. So it's, you know, they, he gets fired and he goes off. He goes, I'm going to start my own thing. And at that point, he realized that everybody he thought was loyal to them wasn't. So it was just. So then he's off on his own and he's just, and he's trying to do all this stuff. And there's, there's some really good scenes in that. There's a one where he's, you know, help me help you and the show me the money and all that kind of stuff. But my favorite scene, my favorite scene in the whole movie is where uh, Jerry Maguire and Rod Tidwell, which played by Cuba Gooding Jr., are on a plane and Jerry Maguire, like he's trying to be positive through the whole movie, but then he just starts getting all feeling sorry for himself. Like, I am cloaked in failure. Why do you hang around me? I'm dripping with failure. Why do you hang around me? And Cuba, Cuba Gooding Jr. just looks at him and he says, look, I said I was going to stick with you and I am. And if I have to jump on your ass and ride you like Zorro, I'm going to make you show me the money. Right? And he just... That move, that scene, I think, is the best in the whole movie because it, 
it shows that every so often, as much as I would like to say that my faith is unwavering, it wavers. There, there are moments where you, you realize you've been carrying this so long, you've been trying so hard to make this work, and then you just start to doubt yourself. You're like, oh, maybe I should just give up. Maybe I should give up. And if you're lucky, you have someone around you who says, look, you may have stopped believing in yourself, but I still believe in you. And if I have to push you past that finish line, I'll do that. Right? If you're lucky, you have somebody in your life who's done that for you. And sometimes you have to realize when you have to be that person. Right? The final movie, and I, I think this is probably the best of the whole group, is the movie Joy with Jennifer Lawrence that came out a few years ago. It's about Joy, um, I can't remember her last name, did the Miracle Mop thing. And the movie's about her coming up with the idea of the Miracle Mop, going to a home shopping network, pushing that through and everything like that. And through the whole movie, it seems like nobody believes in joy, not even herself, right? And she's constantly doubting herself. She's, she's self-doubting herself through the whole movie. It's not like the typical rags to riches where she has an idea and it takes off. You know, her family's you know, telling her, oh, you just don't understand how things work. People are giving her advice who have no idea. Everybody's giving her advice from all around her. And in the end, it was up to her to to roll up her sleeves and, and get in there and sort out all the problems because she was the one who was most committed to it, right? So those, those are my four movies. And I started thinking about it. Why are those four on my list and not things like The Social Network or Steve Jobs or, or anything like that? And I think it's because all those movies involve struggle. They all involve, you know, we all look at the big apps. We all look at the things, the, the runaway successes, and we think, that's how easy it should be. Why is it so hard for me? Why do I have these hiccups? Why do I have these things that go wrong? But those movies help remind me that the things that go wrong, the hiccups, the having to push yourself outside your comfort zone, because I have to do that all the time. I'm still doing it. And the reason I'm, you know, I'd be so much further if, if I just accepted the fact that struggle is part of the process. And those are the movies that remind me of it. So my question to you guys is, what is your favorite business movie? Do you have something on your list that, that's not on mine? And if you haven't seen any of those movies, please check them out. Anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.